It's coffee with Hillary. Live from her basement apartment, it's coffee with Hillary with her special guest, Messy Margaret. And here she is, Hillary. Yes. Oh, hello, hello. Oh my goodness, it's so fun to be here. Hello. We have another coffee with Hillary for you today. We have a lovely guest that I. I, I'm very excited for you to meet, and we're gonna get started right away. I'm gonna get my time started. We're already counting down, 30 minutes to go. I hope you have your coffee. I've got a Timmy's with me today. Go buy a Timmy's, um, because the word is she's a hoe. <laughs> anyway, you don't wanna hear more from me, so let's bring out our special guest for this evening, Messy Margaret. Messy, come on out, Messy. Yeah, it's It's Messy Margaret. Hello. Hi, Hello. how are you? Hi, how are you doing today? I am fantastic. Fantastic. Great. And, Thanks for asking. And don't you look lovely? I will ask again. Um, as much as I want. So you are um a comedian i suppose should i be worried like that no 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 we're good we're good plenty okay. of room for honey okay okay but i noticed that you're blowing up on TikTok. is that correct or, or something or something about a, a little bit blowing up yeah she's getting she's getting some some followers uh tiktok's been very nice to me the comments and everything have all been really great uh it's a great platform for putting out original content in short form, so yeah. Oh my goodness! This is like a business meeting. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we're doing coffee, right? Uh, did you get your coffee here? Well, I'm doing a bubbly. I needed something cold and frizzy. Oh, I thought it, we were doing coffee. coffee. Um, oh. So we're we're doing carbonated beverages. Did you not get a camo? Or um, yeah, I'm really sorry. Okay. Um, should I just go? I I bought or... it four hours ago. Four hours ago. Okay. In the fridge so that I would have it ready for you, and all you did was crack open a a can of bubbly. I'm I'm very insulted. It's really good though. And this is just awful. You know what? I'm gonna switch to a carbonated beverage myself. Um, I've got. Oh, okay. What is that? Is that a pombe? Oh, it's heaven. Oh. Is what it is. Okay. Uh, do you like? So yeah, tell me, I've tell had me one about. Okay. Tell good. me about your bubbly. What? Uh, can I you play like bubbly? Bird? Do you like bubbly or something? Is it good? Do I like, like bubbly? Yes, I do actually. Um, I'm choosing for right now to not drink alcohol. And I find that this is a fabulous little substitute. Gives you that same you know, sensation without making you drunk. You have a habit of just coming for me whenever you want. So first you're not drinking coffee. Now you're not drinking alcohol. What else are you gonna do? Breathe? Um, I've been looking into it. I mean, with this pandemic and everything, I am trying to see if there's like a science behind not being able to breathe. This conversation's going really well so far. I can feel that. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, oh my goodness. Anyway, it's it's really lovely to chat with you because I, I don't know. Uh, I know you from hanging around the Second City and comedy places in Toronto. That's right, right? <laughs> right? right. You, do you hang around those places still, or do you, uh, or what? That is correct, yes. Because I haven't seen um, it in a no. while. Well, I, yeah, I, I don't even know what's going on with the Second City world. Um, so I was a con student, a conservatory student, and oh, just yeah. as the- I did the conservatory. I did the conservatory. And I have, my director is Karen Parker, and she was your director as well. She, I she know, it's me. like we're the same person. Right, I know, it's crazy. So um, put on the only is I'm younger than you. I'm younger than you. I'm a global pandemic, but... <laughs> I love that. Yeah. 
Um, so you're you're in the conservatory, but did the pandemic happen and then you had to do an online show? See, they offered us an online show, but we collectively, as a group, said no. Collectively, as a group, collectively, as a group, just because we, that's not the experience we paid for. We really, really want that main stage experience. We're all willing to wait. We'll wait a year if we have to. Um, so, I mean, it. I, there's pros and cons to both sides. I mean, waiting this long, you're obviously losing that dynamic a little bit with your group. Uh, um, we tried to work online. We've done some stuff online, just like brainstorming and whatnot. But as you know, like premise prob is really difficult via yeah, yeah, Zoom yeah, or yeah, yeah, Meetup yeah, or yeah, any of those yeah, places. Yeah, so it's pretty difficult in general. I mean, trying to get anyone on the same page. Yeah. And like an idea. I think exactly. in, in conservatory, you know, you know, because you're like learning and people are pretty good at improv and pretty funny and stuff and everyone's got money on the line. Um, like egos can get really big really fast, you know? And then you can be like, I deserve this. I deserve my spot on a stage. And if I'm not in 75 sketches, I failed. Is that kind of your experience? <laughs> Actually, I will say that I have a, a pretty good group of people. Uh, we're yeah. 11 all the way at six, like all the way to six, we're still 11 out of 12, which is pretty right. great for the consumer, right? You guys are the same as mine. Like we were the same gosh darn thing. Really? No one left. One person left and she left and it was for good, the class above us. No, um, actually two people like left 10. for us, but we actually yeah. got, somebody joined. Oh really? At what point? The nerve. <laughs> <laughs> At what point the process did they send us somebody halfway, in? Halfway, halfway. Yeah. And he's really good. His name's yeah. um, Jimmer. Uh, Jimmer, what's his last name? He's a comedian. He's hilarious. So, I mean, I, I wasn't mad about it. But, um, yeah. I mean, ugh, ugh, ugh. All right. Well, now that we both talked about our conservatory woes and stuff, I mean, we're both locked away in isolation now. So you've been working on all your TikTok blowing up and blowing up uh, various other uh, talky uh, thing. Um, I guess also working on your drag act, is that right? So quarantine afforded me the time to, to work on doing makeup. Uh, she's still a little busted, but it's getting a little bit better every time. I can oh. lock my eyes. Getting I, a little oh, bit better I mean, with the makeup detail. is a journey, honey. I mean, it really is. I, mine's not that great. I mean, I got to the point where I was like, um, it's good enough, and <laughs> I'm okay with it now. It's all part of your aesthetic, too, right? Like, I chose Messy Mark. Yeah. That's my name partly because I knew that I wasn't very messy with my makeup and my, I mean, I am not a designer. Like if you put me like on drag bracelets, say for example, I would kill the comedy challenges and the acting challenges, I think. Challenge so miserably that, yeah. We would all like yeah. to hope that we would as comedians, but of course there's a lot of pressure. Um. Yeah, but what is every comedian fall to? It's getting in your own head and I could also uh -huh. see myself. All right, let's uh, let's get to some yeah. of the segments, okay, Messi, um, and figure out how, how to have a chat that that's really cool and and um, I don't know whatever. So um, the first segment is okay. So um, yay! I hope I know it. Okay, so the word of the day. Uh, is demure. Demure. Yeah. Okay. What What does demure mean to you? I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of serving you a, a demure look right now. I feel this look is very demure, if I had to use a word for it. Uh-huh. Yeah, it means, yeah. I feel like I'm feeling. I'm feeling demure. I'm feeling it right now. So you're saying that you are demure. I feel that this look is very demure. And with that, I guess, yeah, maybe a little bit for myself. Would you call yourself a demure person in general? In general? No. Because what look, is it? Reserved? Modest? 
Are you reserved Definitely. in mind? Yeah, I'm a little bit reserved. I mean, I I'm- You're a little reserved. You kind of come out of your shell as messy, but I like, think... as Matt, you're more reserved. Maybe a little bit. I mean, I find that I am like a good example of like an extrovert introvert. Um, Cause I'm very outgoing, I'm very, you know, chatty and everything. Um, but I'm like that in groups and situations where I'm really, really comfortable. If I'm not comfortable or if it's like a new group, um, I find that I'll, that I'll be more demure. So did you know in four centuries that demure has been in use, its meaning has only slightly shifted? Okay. Did you know that? I didn't. I didn't. Oh, okay. Find you find it interesting. Also, yeah. it's just affectedly modest. I think that's really interesting. Affectedly. Mm -hmm. Are you affected by this word coming at you now? Or? Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. Does it affect you? I don't feel affected. You don't feel any effect? No. No, maybe maybe I just had like a self-realization moment though. I do feel that. Well, so maybe I am affected. Tell 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 us. We wanna know. Well just that self-realization of of my demure side. I mean I guess maybe I just never really embraced it. Maybe that's the You've never piece. embraced Maybe now the that's the piece that will complete this whole You've never embraced <laughs> what? I wanna see you acting I wanna see your demure side. Wait. Which side is more demure, your right side or your left? Um, oh, her left. Her left side is more demure. Okay, so what I'm getting this from this is, is Messy Margaret's definition of demure is her left side. All right. Well, that's Take good. Okay, huh. next segment. Explain, Explain yourself. yourself. Explain yourself. <clears throat> okay. And explain yourself. Just explain yourself to me who is messy margaret messy margaret is, is a celebrity uh -huh. she's a movie star she is a little bit booty a little bit trashy she comes from from trashier from trashier beginnings um found her success and uh, yeah, took hollywood by storm she's like kate blanchett meets meryl streep you know that's messy. I haven't Margaret. heard the word demure yet. Oh, and very demure. Uh, okay. She's very, very okay. demure. Bit of an afterthought, the demureness. Yeah. She's a bit more Meryl Streep, uh, the early years when she was on uh, binging yeah. on drugs and alcohol. Yes. You're sober. You're sober, lovely enough. lady. That's right. Oh my God, I forgot. I totally forgot. I'm new. I'm so new to the whole sober thing. So it's still like catching up. <laughs> Wait, which part of you is so is messy sober or are you are you sober in general? Both, both. Um cool. sober sobriety is something that I'm I don't know how long I'm for it, but I'm just like on this I just wanna go I'm challenging myself. I'm challenging myself to like go in situations where we would normally have a drink it's and not drink experience. and have yeah, just absolutely. Time. Good, good for you. But obviously you're living a lie because Messy Margaret is a trashy drunk whore. <laughs> I'm super inspired by the queens though who are sober. Uh, I know. Right? Uh, Juice Box and Boa. I think that takes a lot like to be sober and to be, I mean, I've been in that environment. I used to work in the village like back. Yes. You did. Oh yeah, I worked at O'Grady's. You were an O'Grady's person. I was. What do you think of the the weird I irony of um, being a drag queen, which is sometimes a person who is pushing alcohol on guests, yeah, but at the same time being sober, because you have to be like everybody better drink except me, except me, yeah. get me a coke, get me a diet coke, right? I mean, the job, right? So I know, like I have nothing. <laughs> And I still work in the hospitality industry as like my day job. So yeah. um, I mean, I'm around it constantly. Uh, so 
yeah, if I was in, and I mean, I haven't done a lot of bar work myself as a drag queen, but um, if I am to be in that situation, I don't think that it would be like a hindrance to me to. I know, but isn't it ironic? I would just be worried about like people like it's wanting like to tip me like shots day. or something. Like, how, how do you say no? How do you say no? Yeah. Well, that that gets me to our next section, which is any. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions for me? This is a two-way street, so. For you? I'm waiting. Yeah. Okay. For you? Yes, actually, I would really love to know because I I followed you for a while. Um. So you're a like your drag persona. A little bit, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, oh a little bit. My um, God. I, I want to know who are your influences? Who are your drag influences? Oh, big question. Long answer. Okay. I'll keep okay. it short. What? I mean, it's okay. pretty obvious that I'm very influenced by a lot of the current mm, comedy Rue girls. You know, <laughs> Katya through Trixie, through Ben De La Creme, through, you know, um, Manila Luzon. And then, of course, there's the level above them. <laughs> Lady Bunny, Barla Jean Merman, uh, Coco Peru, uh, Peaches Christ. I'm very influential. But then there's pop culture. And I'm very specifically from pop culture influenced by female comedians. Yeah. Period. And also fun music stars. Um, although sometimes they're problematic. You know, like when Katy Perry, you're like, oh, you're really fun. But then you realize all she does is appropriate culture. <laughs> yeah. And say the wrong things all the time. Yeah, she has a problem. Yeah. Have you ever heard of um, the Japanese pop star uh, Kayari, Kayari Pamu Pamu, KPP? I have not, no. Educate me. I mean, she's just fun. She's, uh, uh, she's less around right now, but she's wacky and gonzo and um, really that kind of crazy, fun, cute energy that you <laughs> So, oh, really? Yeah, sometimes referred to as the Lady Gaga of Japan. Um, definitely worth checking out. She's super cute. <laughs> but I mean, I had a problem with that because I love her so much. Yeah. And I was almost like starting to live a magical girl fantasy. And then I was like, maybe this isn't the best way for me to be a drag queen because it kind of felt like I was maybe appropriating something. So maybe I can take something mm. from it, but not like try and be it. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's a fine line sometimes. Cause even when you don't think that maybe you are appropriating. Mm-hmm. You are, you are. All right. So um, the next section um, is RuPaul's Drag Race. There's another one. one. Are you watching um, the RuPaul's show still? Well, I was watching, but now I'm watching Canada's. Is there that between oh, yeah. Canada's? I mean, RuPaul is still technically on it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Are you watching um, it? Do you like it? Do you have anything well, to I, I, I really, No, I'm really loving it. It's so, it's it's amazing to watch like a lot of these, these girls from Toronto. Is that um, your aspiration? To do Drag Race? Maybe in the future, like if this show has longevity in Canada, then definitely at some point down the line I would. So I would like to build- is you, you don't believe in yourself and you, you don't- <laughs> I do. do believe in myself. I just believe in doing things- <laughs> Yes, the right way. I, and the right way for you is in three to five years. What's that? Did you just it's read me? You never know what a reality TV show is looking for either, right? Because don't this forget- play, so I'll, um, well, don't, yeah, you never know what they're looking for because don't forget it's a reality TV show, you know? So, like, absolutely. What are they looking for? Are they looking for drag artists or are they looking for personalities? Absolutely. I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, if you look at just kind of how every season of Drag Race has played out, it's a competition that tests you kind of in every category. Like, and you don't have to figure out all of those things, but. Yeah, well, sometimes the fiercest drag queens don't do well. Like, um, yeah. point in case, Anastasia Anakwe, Tainobi yeah. Banks. Yes. Um, quote unquote, legend, whatever that means to you. Um, really fierce, works, amazing, professional, da 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 da. But like, kind of came across as a little weak sauce on TV because it just yeah. really, 
an element where they try. Like, like the pressure of the competition probably can really break somebody too, like break somebody down, like where they're questioning themselves. Like I feel like in Tainomi's case, the way that it was edited, it just looked like she, you know, took the critiques, um, like that was kind of bringing her down and she was, and we've seen it so many times, like in other girls' narratives on that show, where they're brought down to a point where like they start to question themselves and then they start to think too they, much about what they they're just think that they're messy like you. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's move on to the next section. Money! Keeping up with the yes, parents. Yeah. Let's go back to this. There's this um, hilarious Instagram feed called Keeping Up with the Karens. We'll just watch a little bit. It won't come through super well, but I'll edit it and post. Oh, I haven't um, seen this one. Uh, and let's let's just watch some Karens, okay. and then you tell me if there, how many Karens out of five you rate this Karen. Okay, Absolutely. this looks like a good Karen. Let's play. Oh, she, Karen, I don't even have to hear her. Good evening, thanks for joining us. The woman caught on camera making racist this remarks that a Coquitlam Park is coming forward to share her side of the story, saying she's ashamed about what turned out Sunday evening, but denying that she had any underlying... Okay, crime. how much Karen do you think the news reporter is? Because where's the Karen? Back to where they came from. CTV's been known... Oh, she's talking to a man. Now, Ben, this explosive... Okay, this is boring. Okay, how, how, how many Karens out of five is that news reporter, though? I mean, just from the look of this woman, without yeah. even hearing her voice, I'm giving her seven Karens out of five. Uh, uh, seven yeah. Karens. Seven Karens? Okay. Seven Karens. Um, what about this this lady with the mask? How many Karens out of five? Like, you say you're going to call 911? Yeah, I am. Why? I'm going to call 911. I want them to let me out the door and have someone help me with my purchase to the car. So and I will sit on the buckets while I wait. And she won't let me have the bucket. And she won't... Okay, how many Karens out of five was that? She already oh, lost her Karen like, points for the mask, so I understand that. So I would, if she didn't have that mask on, I'd give her nine Karens out of five. Karen! Okay, give Karens, her, but with the mask, how many Karens? I'd give her six. My I'm still pretty Karen. I, I don't Ashley know if I heard Jones. it correctly, but was she asking for the police so that they can well, carry her? Okay, this Karen. So why don't you have a mask on? I'm not a slave like you. Oh! oh! so clueless like you're being that filmed. was like 15 wow. karens out of 10. no that like goes beyond karen that that is a that is a brenda okay. what is yeah, let me tell you something you'll be online tonight lady you'll be all over the world right. She doesn't need a mask. She has a right to pizza. Is that uh, how many Karens out of five? I, I, I'm going to give it a solid like seven. I mean, I'm going to give it an eight because of the entitlement. I mean, entitlement. Yeah. living my best life with eyes on you. Maybe she's having a bad day. You never know. But, um, Maybe she just wanted that pizza because she was having a bad day and she's just like, I need my pizza, please. But you know what? Then, then say that, say that. I, I, listen, I, right? really, I forgot my mask at home. Can I please just have this pizza? I will put a napkin over my face. Right? Like, really? We just came up with that in seconds. Oh, this one looks fun. Oh, she did. Oh, girl. Okay, number one, I don't understand the context because I'm Canadian, so um, oh. I'm perfectly okay with covering my face when necessary. But Absolutely. How many, how many Karens out of five is that? I, I'd give it a solid oh. 10. Let's give her an 11. I'm gonna give her an 11. Oh, um, okay. Because we don't know exactly what she was saying, but we know that it was complete nonsense. Okay, well, um, let's go straight on to um, our next segment, because uh, we're running out of time, we're only have like five, five minutes left. Um, we're going to go into our next segment. It's, it's time, time for, for an Insta tour. tour. Uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> so let's check out your Insta. Uh, a lot of these are actually your awesome. TikTok videos you upload, right? Yes, I share them on, Ooh, on all. Look at this queen. Tell us about this look. 
that is my Black Widow character. So <laughs> her husband has just died and she's about to go in to the reading of the will. Uh -huh. um, see if she is receiving absolutely everything. Oh, oh, and Hugh's this handsome man. Is this your husband? Yes, that's my husband. Ooh. So cute, isn't he? And what does he do? Is he an actor or is he a banker? Well, he's an actor by an passion. Airline attendant. He's working on it, but he also he also likes to serve um, spaghetti down at the spaghetti factory. Oh, yeah. Around. yeah, he likes he likes tips, twenty percent. Okay, but let, uh, tell 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 me how, um, how long has he been an actor? Has he been acting for a really long time? Yeah, he, um, he did it like, like ever when he was in. That was for a shoot. That's such a body bottom pick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, but you've been, he's been acting for a long time? Yeah, he's been acting for a long time. Uh, he did the first play when he was 10, went to theater school, um, and uh, uh, has like always kind of kept his hand in everything. Oh, that sounds dirty. Yeah, it is. It's very and dirty. When did you start, or start, when did he marry um, uh, Messy Margaret? When, when did Messy Margaret come into his life? Uh, Messy Margaret came into his life last January. Uh, she kind sweet. of was pretty him, but he was. Is this the beginning of Messy you Margaret? Know, what's that? Uh, that's when Messy Margaret was like trying to get in. Yeah. Messy Margaret, you know, following him a lot. Mm hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's taking back. This, this is a Snapchat filter. That's all. <laughs> You're such a Karen already. What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, no. I've got lots of Karen material. That's what's making me like blow up on TikTok. Ooh, oh. And there and there's another thoughty picture yeah. with those big muscly arms. Ooh. Works out. You're <laughs> such a lucky lady to have such a handsome man. I know, I, I'm blessed. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, you've been an actor for a while and now you're, you're doing drag and stuff. Do, do you like it? Do you, are you having fun? Yeah. I mean, my, my dream is to marry the two. Uh, yeah. To have well, we, we want, we're gonna, we we're talking a little bit about comedy and drag and how those go together. Do you find it easy to put them together, especially in Toronto? Drag, not so much in Toronto, but I am noticing, like you know, like through you, and then I noticed other comedy queens. Like I am keeping my eye out. I wish the world was more open right now, so that I could, you know, network more and try to like actually go to shows and like meet people in person. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I do notice that there's a bit of a community here that I'm very interested in and that I want to participate in, um, not just as in drag necessarily, but like the whole queer community. Um, you know, I've seen several shows by Tom Hearn. I think he's brilliant and um, somebody who really seems to have, you know, a, a place in this community uh, yeah. for comedy. And, um, I work with uh, with Patrick Murray at um, Spaghetti Factory. He's another one. He's in Skechersons. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, so yeah, I've just slowly I've been meeting people in that community specifically. So queer comedy. Yeah, both. I mean, it takes time. I mean, it's definitely yeah. a weird mixture because I mean, do you, do you like uh, it moving around in the drag circles at all? I mean, I've tried. My friend, a friend of Dibish Queen, she's, we worked together at Spaghetti Factory as well. She was the one that really pushed me into like, Finally buying the makeup. Who was that again? Was Angina. Angina. Yeah. Uh, so Sangina. Sangina. So we were, she started uh, maybe about six months before I did, like actually going out and drag. But she. Oh, we, we have our very time is seven. up. I'm sorry. Uh, well, it's too bad that we didn't get to the end of what you had to yeah. say. So a couple things at the end. Um, the, fi the final segment is <clears throat> karaoke lip sync. Are you ready for ah. a surprise karaoke lip sync? Sure, let's do that. Great. Uh, 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 uh,
All right, here she is, Messy Margaret. became a drag queen. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's been really nice chatting with you and just gabbing about random crap, you know? Yeah, I loved it. It was fun. That that was a little bit of a hesitation, and I caught it. That was just Zoom. All right, oh whatever, God. Mr. Messi. Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was great. That was so much fun. Do you have any final thoughts? Final thoughts. Do I get paid for this? Mm. No, I was thinking more like, um, you know, Hugh Jackman or something like that. He's kind of cool. Oh, Hugh Jackman. And no, you don't get paid. Well, anyways, this has been a really fun time. <laughs> Thank you so much, Matthew. You're such a cute little patootie. patootie. What? Oh, so are you. What did you say to me? I said, so are you. All right, you're you're going. Oh, okay. Get the hell no, out of here. Stop your video. Get. Thank you so much for tuning in to Coffee with Hillary. I'm Hillary, and remember, let's all drink coffee together because fuck tea. Thanks so much for watching me and Massey get Massey. Um, I mean, if you haven't seen it already, we, uh, I put out a thing called, uh, Karen, my name isn't Karen, based on Lady Gaga's new Chromatica song, Alice, and Messi's in that, so check it out, and Messi's got some Instagram stuff, too, I'm sure it's good, you'll enjoy it, okay, bye!